Hey y'all, Roxanne here, and welcome to my happy place once again, my beautiful garden. And today, I want to talk about the tomato plant arch nemesis, the hornworm. So, if you don't know what a hornworm is, it's a green little caterpillar worm looking thing that gets on your tomato plants and just decimates them in no time flat. Those little buggers will get on there and just munch, 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 munch all the leaves and the branches and even start biting into uh, tomatoes if they get to them and just completely take down a tomato plant in no time, like just a couple of days and they will just have your tomato plant completely ate down. So I want to talk about these little boogers that get on my tomato plants. I don't know if you deal with um, hornworms or not where you're at, but we definitely do. We definitely have hornworms. Um, so in my research about the hornworm, so first let me say it, there are two different kinds of hornworms. There is a tobacco hornworm and a tomato hornworm, but they will both get on your tomato plants because in my research I found that the tomato plant and the um, tobacco plant are actually in the same family. So the hornworm will, will um, find both of those plants as a host plant to live on and eat off of. Now, that being said, um, I did learn that a tomato hornworm has a V, um, they have V-shaped um, stripes down their back, and I learned um, to, how to remember the V is because fine ripened tomatoes, such with a V, right? So the um, tomato hornworm has a V, and then the um, tobacco hornworm just has kind of a, um, a line of stripes down his back. Okay, so that's something that I learned. And also, um, the tobacco hornworm will have a blue tip, I mean a red tip at the end of his horn, um, at his tail end. And the tomato hornworm has a blue tip at the end of his horn on his tail end. So just some uh, fun facts for you there about the tomato hornworm and the tobacco hornworm. Um, so you, I, it can help you identify which ones you have on your plants. Here, we, um, what I've discovered is that we mostly have the tobacco hornworm on our plants. But they will eat a tomato plant just as fast as a tomato hornworm. It, that doesn't stop them. But anyways, so, um, yeah, um, last year I hardly dealt with any of those little creepy little boogers. They creep me out. They do. They're big and gross and yucky, and I just don't like them. But anyways, um... <laughs> I hardly dealt with any of them last year. I pulled off maybe five or six off of my tomato plants the whole time last year. Like the whole season. And um, I was surprised because we usually have tons and tons of them. Well, they've already made up for it this year. So yesterday, I was watering my garden. And I saw a couple of them um, on a tomato plant. So I started looking a little harder. And then I found some more. And then um, I finished watering and everything and went inside and uh, did some stuff. Came back out and um, started searching some more. And I found even more. 
And at that point, I was just like, oh my goodness, the hornworms are going to be crazy this year. And so I thought I had got most of them. I thought I had found um, all of them. Well, probably not all of them, but a lot of them. I couldn't find any more in my searching. And so I went inside and made some supper and did some different things and stuff. And then the kids came in and they had found two or three more of them. I was like, oh my goodness, there's so many hornworms. And so um, we had to go, we had to run to town. So we did. And uh, my wonderful husband, because he loves me so very much and uh, he'll do just about anything <laughs> for me. Um, he bought me a little black light. So if you don't know this trick, this is something else that I learned um, with tomato hornworms, a trick to be able to uh, spot them easier is to buy you a black light and wait till nighttime and shine your black light over um, your tomato plants. And it will just light up those little hornworms. They glow like they're glowing in the dark, like they're iridescent. It's it's pretty cool, really. And um, so he bought me a black light because he loves me. And he does stuff like that for me. <laughs> but anyways, so he bought me this black light because I really wanted one because obviously I had tons of foreign worms on my tomato plant and I was not going to let them take my tomato plants down. And I was going to do something about it. And so I got the black light and I waited till dark and I came out here and started shining on all of my tomato plants. I went through every single one of my tomato plants looking for those little boogers and uh, found five more of those hornworms after searching like two or three times um, that whole day and thought I had probably got most of them but uh, found five more um, on my tomato plants after uh, searching with the black light. And um, yeah, so all in all in one day, I found 18 hornworms. 18 hornworms. I, I was just baffled. I could not believe that there was that many stinking little hornworms on my tomato plants. It just, I was just fit to be tied, really. I thought that, I thought that I was just going to have this humongous infestation of hornworms. And I did, because 18 is quite a bit to find in one day. And I'm sure I'm going to find some more throughout the season, finding that many on my tomato plants in one day. But I just could not believe that there was that many tomato plants in one day so they definitely made up for last year because like I said I only picked like five maybe six last year like the whole season last year and this season one day there's 18 I'm like oh my goodness you little boogers are not gonna win this battle I'm gonna get me a black light and I'm gonna find each and every one of you little boogers but oh my goodness I just could not believe that I mean they were still um fairly tiny for hornworm because they'll, they'll eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and get really big and um, really yucky. <laughs> but they do, they get big because all they do is sit there and just eat and eat and eat and eat, and eat the tomato plant until they um, go into their little chrysalis or cocoon to turn into um, a moth. But um, yeah, so. I just had to share that with you guys, that there was just so many hornworms and I just could not believe it. And I was just, I was just stunned by how many hornworms there were. Oh, but today I was out here working all day today, tying up um, plants to trellises, putting trellises up and stuff and, and looking on my tomato plants and stuff too while I was working and everything. And I, I haven't found one hornworm, so 
Maybe I got most of them yesterday. Maybe I won't see too many more, which would be great. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So that's really crazy that I, I found that many. Oh, and I found out too in my research and stuff that they, they turn into quite a big um, moth wingspan out like this, pretty good sized wingspan of a moth. And what they do is they, um, the moth, or uh, uh, when they're a caterpillar, they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, or her worm, as in hornworm, but they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat the tomato plant. They get big and fat and yucky, and then they will bury themselves under the soil and um, go into their little cocoon or chrysalis, whatever uh, you want to call it. And um, they stay there. Like they'll, they'll do that in the fall. And then they'll stay there all winter until springtime. And then they come out as this big, great big moth. And then the male and the female mate at nighttime. And then she lays her eggs on uh, the tomato plant. And it's just a couple of days. And um, the little hornworm hatches and comes out. And, Starts eating and doing its little thing on the tomato plant. Eating all the tomato plants. <laughs> but anyways, that's what God created them to do. And, and the, they are one of God's creations. Um, but I really don't want them to eat all of my tomato plants, though, after I put in so much work to grow these tomato plants, to have tomatoes to eat. So, unfortunately, I have to do something about it, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, guys, I just wanted to share that with you um, today about the hornworms. And if you don't have hornworms where you live and where you garden, I'm jealous. And be blessed. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for stopping by, and God bless until next time.